Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I just wanted to show you for a minute before I come on here and paint. I'm going to paint on a wine glass today. Uh, but I just wanted to show you a bottle real quick. Uh, I was talk talking to an art friend of mine uh, about pointillism, uh, the painting dots. I did this bottle several years ago and uh, I painted the bottle black and I sketched a picture on it. It's got flowers and bluebird, bluebird, several of them. And I painted the, the whole bottle with the birds and the flowers and designs, if you can see it okay. And I was telling her about it. So one day I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a, a art piece Paint, painting this form of art. And uh, so, okay, I'm going to close this for a minute and I'm going to get ready to paint a wine glass. Thank you for being here and I'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks. Hi everybody, thank you for coming back. Um, I just wanted to show a, a small little clip of the uh, bottle that I was doing with the pointillism. And um, I have other glasses that I do with that that I'll show along the line also. Uh, right now I'm gonna do a, a glass, a wine glass, and it. Uh, I'm gonna just do some pretty white and yellow. Just bring you know, five petal, five petal flowers. That's it. Let me see if I can hold this under the glass. I've lifted my camera some so I can hold my glass at an angle and maybe you can see better as I paint. I appreciate you being here. I usually paint with my glass sitting up like that and uh, so I lifted my camera just maybe I could hold it up a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Hope everybody's doing good today. Still the weekend, that's good. <laughs> Oh, and I wanted to show you also, uh, the bottom of the glass, I, I did, I added paint at the bottom, and I did, I went over this while I was talking, let me do this again. I added paint to the bottom, I added uh, three light layers, and I, I dried it with a, the hair dryer, still a little tacky, not too much. make nice gifts for a couple or a teacher or a new mom put it on a water glass or you know candle you put these on the on the candles you don't have to bake these just you know on the glasses you do if you're gonna drink out of them but on a candle they look nice let's see let's put one down here here. I usually hold my hand behind the glass, but the, see if that's okay. 
but you can put them on the can the glass candles and that makes that's nice you know to make a gift for somebody to it. These don't take long to make. You can you can make so many of these for um, for clubs or a group, maybe a girls' night out, you know. Just put your little three leaves out here. little groups like this. See the center. What I'm going to put over here first. I'm going to put a little butterfly right in here. Okay, put me some purple there. I think I'll water it down a little bit. I might add a little bit of white. Let's see, whiten it up some. So let's see, I'm just going to make a little one right here. Mm. Uh oh. Just a little tiny one here. I can still see that. I don't like that. All right, I can get that off later. I'll just make it two little things like that. And the same little line of brush, we're gonna get a little black to make the body of the butterfly. All right, let's see. You see it? Okay. And you can use a toothpick to make the little um, antennas up here if you like. No. I'm just going to put two little things like that. That'll be fine. And a little black dot here. And right there. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put the darker green stems into the leaves. Like that. Just so they're not floating in the air. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, now to finish the flowers, what we'll do is, uh, let's see, with the liner brush, I'm gonna get the grain off of there, and to the center, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add me a little bit more purple here. Okay, oops, I'm gonna set it up like this for a minute. I'm gonna add some more purple. And I'm gonna touch that in the middle. A little bit of black wouldn't hurt, not not too much, but just to darken that purple up a little bit like that, okay? Just not black, but a little darker purple. So it'll stand up. Stand out a little bit. Okay, can you see that? And some little purple to the center. I'll add some over here too to this one, even though it's hidden. I'm going to put a few in here. Put some in here. I'm going to add his little wings a little bit longer. That's some crazy looking wings, huh? <laughs> oh well. That's okay. That's that's good. Alright. Butterflies getting weaker looking by the minute. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to rinse my brush off. You usually don't rinse it off in water, but we need to, I need to get that off because, what, well, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the brush. I'm going to go ahead and use the tip of my, I'll use the tip of my, my, my brush. Um, a little thick here, but that's okay. I'll just put a little bit of that floating medium, medium in it, thin it up a little bit, the white. And then I want to, I want to put some white dots around. I'm going to put white dots around the, uh, I think I have to add some more. Sorry, y'all. This is so thick. It got thick just sitting in here. I guess it got that thick. And I'm gonna... Let's see. I'm gonna use my little tool. I like this tool here. Let's see if that'll do better. This is what I use when I do the pointillism. I do use this tool here. I, I think I ordered it on Amazon and you get like five, I believe, in a pack. Different sizes. I usually use the same size, you know, for everything I do. You can see what I'm doing here. This is pretty thick though. I mean, the Sorry about that, it is very thick. I should have mixed some of this up before I attempted it. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. 
Okay. I know it may be hard to see right here. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'll, uh, I'm going to take a picture of it standing up. Better lighting, maybe. Uh, you know, you can see a little bit of it laying down. It's hard to, it's hard to really see what it looks like. You know, like this. But you get the idea. It's more just of a little spring, spring glass. But I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you being here. It's real simple to make. You bake it in your oven. I'll tell you in another, another video. I mean, it's, it's really simple. You bake it and you put a little ribbon around it and you put it in your little gift bag and there you go. You have a nice gift to give to someone. And you put it in any kind of glass, just a water glass. They don't have to drink. Uh, you know, any alcohol beverage, just, you know, a tea glass, iced tea glass, or a candle, or, or anything, or a little vase, and get them at the Dollar Tree, but it makes a nice little gift for someone. But anyway, thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I really do. Take care, everyone. I'll see you soon, I hope. Thank you. Bye-bye.